Hi everyone, Pez HD here, and welcome to the fourth uh, or third even uh, Premier League team. I may have, I might, I might do a fourth one as well. But um, guys, if you haven't seen, um, I'm I'm very fond of Premier League teams, and uh, this is the one I'm using at the moment. It's by far the best team I've ever used on any FIFA. Uh, I did have a very good team on FIFA on FIFA 12 with uh, in for a whole like informed Brazil team more. Out. All those sort of stuff, but this is by far the best team I've ever used, and I'm going to tell you why. So in goal we've got Petr Cech. Now I haven't used Joe Hart uh, or Loris, and obviously they're great goalkeepers, but this is, so far is the best goalie I've used on the Ultimate Team. I've used Joe Hart and Loris on single player, but you know these stats are really great for a level 84. It's 85 diving, 81 handling, 75 kicking. 85 reflexes and 84 position. His does his kicking does let him down a bit, but his throw is massive. It goes from his own box and throws it a long way over the halfway line every single time. So it's always good. Now in defence we've got David Luiz, uh, a monster again. Uh, his long shots are great. Scored a few with him. Um, his passing's epic. His pace is great. Catches up with most strikers. He's a solid defender. I've got Aga or uh, Daniel Aga in the middle. Uh, most solid of the defenders. Um, pace is not too bad. His, sh his long shots are great, and he's a solid, solid centre back. And then we've got Yunus Kabul on the other side. Great heading, great defending, and great pace. He's a solid, solid centre back from Spurs. So it's a really great defence. And and this formation with the CDMs, it it sits back in defence, but gets on the counter attack so quickly. And if you guys haven't played FIFA or not, why why not? You should be you should be playing it. It's great. And uh, but, but the counter attacking is insane on it, like it's brilliant. Now on the left we've got Ashley Young uh, on FIFA 12. He was level 85, slightly more pace, but once again he's still very overpowered. Um, I hope to save up for Bale or Nani uh, in this team, but I haven't decided yet. Maybe even Hazard if he came down in price. But as you can see, I've only got 15,000 coins at the moment. Just uh, so. I mean, he's got 85 dribbling and 89 pace, which is very good. Anyway, uh, on the right, we've got Lennon from Tottenham. Great link with Eunice Cabal. Not that you need it in the Premier League team. But, you know, he's got 92 pace and 84 dribbling. Now, some of you may be asking, why didn't I get Valencia? Now, I didn't get Valencia because he hasn't got as good pace. His pace is worse than Lennon's. He's got... Worst dribbling, which is uh, great. You, you gotta have good dribbling. Lennon also has a better weak foot. So, and when you're playing on the right, you do need a good left foot, uh, so you can cut back inside. You know the finesse shots, the rocket shots, all all those sorts of things. And that's why I went for Lennon. Uh, also, he's fairly a uh, fair bit cheaper. So, uh, now in CDM we've got the 88 pace Ramirez. He's so good. I've had him in a few teams now. Um, I did have a different Premier League team that you that I haven't actually didn't put on camera because I didn't particularly like it and I didn't want to get too many Premier League teams. But it, he's a solid player, uh, 76 defending, 82 dribbling, and 88 pace. He's insane. Uh, we've got Anita on the other side. Not sure how. No, not Anita. What well, well, I'm on about Anita? It's because uh, I I said Anita because I have him on my in my reserves and I just used him in the last game I played. So, but we've got the other Newcastle CDM. We've got Tiote, solid player, 83 defending, 77 pace, great shooting, great passing. He's a really good player. I've got Sessignon in the attacking midfield spot. Now I could have got someone else, but I went for Sessignon because he's got four star skills, five star weak foot, 85 dribbling and 85 pace. Those are great, great stats for 8 and 82. You can't really ask for much more from a, from an attacking midfielder. If an inform comes out, I definitely want to try him. Uh, up front, we've got Xavier Hernandez, or Chikorito, as some may call him. On the right, 90 pace, uh, very OP. Um, he's, very, he's a great player, only three star skills, which is a bit let down. But, you know, he gets away from the defenders. His acceleration is amazing. And he no, he's not too bad in the air, even though he's quite small. But definitely, by a long shot, this is my favourite player in the team and my favourite player on the ultimate team at the moment. We've got the one and only Mario Balotelli. Uh, he's insane. It's all to say. Look at those stats. They, they're not too bad, but uh, they don't they don't look great. But they're definitely not. 84 pace. I would say 88. 82 shooting. Uh, 95 shooting. I would say. 
passing, I haven't particularly noticed it. He holds up the ball great and lays it off to the attacking midfielder. 84 dribbling, uh, I've, I haven't played with anyone who's got better dribbling than him, so I would say 90. And 73 heading, he win he's so tall, like he just gets up in the air, wins the header, I would say 80, 80 heading or so. And he puts it away. Now on the bench we've got a few great players. I did. I was using the gear before before I got check, but you know we have to change it around a bit. We've got Yaya Torre, uh, Colo Torre. I wish I had Yaya Torre. Uh, Javi Garcia, he's solid. Jarvis, Pennant, Marlin, Bent. Uh, yeah, yeah, Bent. He's he's insane. Just to say, uh, I I would recommend him um, above Fernandez if you're a player who his first start in the game and like doesn't have a too great team like he's so cheap he's cheaper than an ah, it's, it's kind of hard to explain right he's cheaper and kind of just as good if you're a bad player so like I have a friend who's not particularly great at the game I may have beaten him 5-0 with this team and he has players he, he uses a similar formation and he's got players like Hazard Balotelli all those, all those sort of players and and I, he he had bent up front, and he was his only good player. And now he could not use anyone else. But then when I got Hernandez and put Bent on, Bent was terrible. Couldn't do anything with him. But Hernandez was insane. So they're both the same level. But you know, it's up to you. If you're a bad FIFA player, then I would recommend Bent. <laughs> but if you're if you're fairly good, then Hernandez is the better player. We've also got Figueroa because he's got 78 pace, Squirtle, as I like to call him. Anita and a Borini. So Borini is very, very good for a rating 77 as well. So if you're skint and ha need a need a cheap Premier League player, 83 pace, you can't get much better than that. But that's the team, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. I have dragged it on quite a long time, over seven minutes now. But you know, I hope you enjoyed it anyway, guys. Um, if you've made it this far, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.